Hey, what is up, dudes? Today I wanted to make a video on the mingling of Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare for Warzone. We just got some new information, and it's actually kind of exciting because some of the stuff that we kind of already knew before, but then there's some other things that they may or may not be saying that they are removing things permanently and or just temporarily. But first of all, let's get into what they say they are doing. So they said they are bringing... It's available weapons total to 80 plus for primary and secondaries and the operators to 50 plus just off of what they already had available from Black Ops Cold War into it. And uh, this is this is crazy to have 80 weapons in a battle royale. I don't think any game has that right now or at least available to play with just immediately. And there might be reasonings behind that because weapon balancing and stuff like that. I don't know if the AK from Modern Warfare is going to feel different than the AK in Black Ops Cold War. Otherwise, what's the point of using the one AK when the other AK is the exact same thing? I don't know how they're going to do it. Maybe they'll feel a little bit different here and there or maybe... I heard this just from another YouTuber. Uh, he said that it's possible that Black Ops Cold War weapons might be more overpowered because of they want to sell Black Ops Cold War. And since it's not doing too hot, at least in the multiplayer realm of things, I think probably a lot of people either stop playing it because they only wanted to play it for multiplayer, which me personally, I like the zombies, and the zombies is what I really get the game for, what I get Treyarch games for, and I'm happy that the DLC is going to be free. But uh, that might be a big selling point for them to make the Black Ops Cold War weapons way more, not way more overpowered, but better than their counterparts in Modern Warfare, like the AK in Black Ops Cold War would be better than the Modern Warfare one. We'll see. That's just a theory that I heard from another YouTuber. I don't remember where I found that from. It's funny to think of that happening, and I definitely could see that happening from a marketing standpoint. Now, they said they're bringing the five assault rifles, the five submachine guns, the four marksman rifles, the three light machine guns, the three sniper rifles, three pistols, two shotguns, three launchers, including the uh, thumper and the one melee weapon, which is, I believe, just the knife in uh, Black Ops Cold War. So they're bringing all those. They didn't say that they're bringing in the new weapons that are going to be added to Black Ops Cold War in Season 1, at least in this list they didn't say it. Um, they said throughout the uh, Season 1 you'll be able to obtain additional free-to-acquire weapons, uh, free to tiers of the battle pass and in-game challenges. So, okay, so maybe they are going to be bringing them, uh, which is good. Here on your screen, you're going to see a customization screen for how Warzone is going to implement the Black Ops Cold War weapons. I think this is obviously just a better screen. Uh, if anyone's played Black Ops Cold War, if you guys play Black Ops Cold War, this is a way better screen. Modern Warfare just had it better. I like this selection screen better. Uh, I like to select the camos way better, the blueprints, all the systems. I like to save my blueprints in Black Ops Cold War. You can't save them. I don't know. I just like this system better. I don't know why Black Ops Cold War decided to change it up. Treyarch has this weird thing. They just want to, like, change it up all the time. Just keep the thing simple and keep it how it was in the other Call of Duties that we liked. This is what I like to see from Warzone. Now, uh, they also said all the attachments unlocked from Black Ops Cold War weapons will be available throughout the Gunsmith, which is interesting because literally there are only a couple of good attachments for weapons in Black Ops Cold War on your guns that literally are the same attachments that work on all the guns that are the best for the guns. So it's interesting uh, to see the least that they're bringing all of them over because in Modern Warfare you could kind of mix and match things together and you could find a really cool combo from things that maybe no one was using and maybe it's pretty good then. But in Black Ops Cold War the balancing is not very good with their... Uh, with their attachments. Uh, hopefully that changes season one. We'll see. This is going to be cool. They're bringing all the operators over, as you guys can see on the screen. Some of them are blacked out. Uh, this is probably going to be the new Stitch character and some of the other ones that we saw in the season one trailer as well. Uh, then they're talking about... Um, bringing over the prestige system, the leveling system, uh, that it's going to be progressing all over from Modern Warfare, Warzone, and Black Ops Cold War. Your level is going to stay the same. Uh, you're going to have your prestiges, your prestige shop with the keys. Uh, you're going to have the store that works simultaneously with everything that is going to be usable in Warzone. That's going to be showing up what's in the store. 
So if it's for Black Ops Cold War and it works in Warzone, it's going to be there. If it works in Modern Warfare and it works in Warzone, it's going to be in there. Um, and that's pretty much it for the customization portion of this video but also they said that all mastery challenges and stuff so if you haven't completed any challenges that you wanted to complete in warzone don't worry you can still do that all of that is still going to be unlockable for you uh, like calling cards uh, emblems blueprints stuff like that you'll still be able to do uh, all those where you left off from now let's talk about real quick because I want to show you guys it says right at the bottom it says content may be temporarily or permanently removed from Warzone in the future based on game or thematic changes technical or legal requirements and or storage limitations so basically for any reason Activision or whoever is adjusting the Warzone meta can just remove any gun at any time, any equipment, any perk, any uh, any blueprint that you got. Because basically, if you're only a free-to-play player in Warzone and you say you bought a Grau skin and they decide to re remove the Grau from the game, this is them telling you that it doesn't matter that you bought it. We're not going to refund you your money. This is how it is from now on. If we want to take it out of the game, it's going to be taken out of the game. It might be temporary. It might be permanent. We're not going to let you know. That's how this is going to go, it seems like. So if there's going to be some balancing changes that happen in this game, uh, guns start to be temporarily removed, temporarily in quotations, or permanently, uh, it could cost you some money because some people bought some skins, some people bought some character customizations. Maybe there's some characters that get removed because maybe they want to add the next Modern Warfare to the game and there's too much storage limitations. I don't know. This is, seems there's a lot of uh, hosh posh things so they can't get sued for taking away certain things that you guys bought. Uh, so this is going to get interesting to say the least. Hopefully you guys at least have like I'd say Modern Warfare now that it's probably cheaper, and maybe if you have Black Ops Cold War, at least you'll be able to use the stuff, vice versa. If you like to play one game with as multiplayer, you'll still be able to use your skins, but in Warzone, if they decide to take it away, it's it could be gone, or it could be per, uh, temporarily uh, disabled uh, for the time being, and who knows how long that would take for a certain weapon or a certain skin to come back uh, to the game. So you guys let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about that. Some metas might be changing. Do you think the Black Ops Cold War weapons will be OP just so they sell the game more? You guys let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, my name is Freaky. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on it. It really helps me out a bunch. And I will see you in the next one.